So let's come back now and explore a few of these in a little more detail. Uh, I'm going to start with the connections. That's the first step of doing anything in Agenda Pro. So let's go back uh, here and click on Database Explorer. And let's make sure that you can get connected to your data. So as an example, let's go ahead and uh, click the plus button to create a new connection. Uh, let's create a connection to the Red, uh, Redshift database. I'll show you how that works. Uh, you'll be able to, uh, clicking on that is going to prompt you with this connections dialog. It's going to um, have a, a number of fields here that you'd want to enter uh, to connect your database. Most of this information is going to come from your uh, DBA, uh, database administrator, or your, your systems administrator. Um, they're going to have the information for you about what host to connect to. That's usually a server name of the database. Um, and some of the details around whether it requires SSL or not, uh, as well as your, your username and password. So Agility won't provide you with that. Um, you, uh, Agility Pro uses JDBC uh, to connect to various databases. That's a change from uh, the uh, uh, old Agility Workbench, which used ODBC. So if you've, if you've used Workbench in the past, uh, you're going to need a different driver uh, than you used with that tool. Um, you should be able to get those drivers uh, uh, in many cases from us. Uh, so in this example here, uh, there isn't yet a driver for Redshift. Uh, it's telling me that here, um, but you can with a single click, uh, actually click and download that. And you can see here in just a couple seconds, uh, we went out to a public repository and downloaded the Redshift driver. Uh, it's possible in your experience when you click this button uh, that this may not uh, download the, the driver correctly. Um, some companies block the, the public repository where, where these drivers are retrieved by Agility Pro. And in that case, that's not a problem. Um, you're just gonna wanna edit the driver manually. And you can do that by uh, clicking this or by going uh, up to File, Edit Drivers. Um, and you can see here uh, that uh, there's uh, currently the Redshift drivers already populated. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. Um, and uh, click the custom JDBC driver, and this is where you would uh, upload a driver that was provided to you by your own administrators. Um, oftentimes, if you have a, an app store at your company, um, you can search the app store, so maybe you're searching for the Redshift JDBC driver, and that's, a, that's often a way that, that uh, companies make that available. And you'd just be able to click that, and um, you're looking for a, a .jar file, typically, and uh, adding that here would be another way to do that. Um, but again, uh, we do make some of these drivers available uh, through that public repository, and that's the, that's the easiest and fastest way to do that.